for this week's All Tricks Weekly Challenge, we're looking at basketball stats and basketball players who have been chosen to be All-Stars um, and where they were initially picked in their draft. As you can tell, I, pro I don't know a lot about basketball, um, but I could glean enough information to still do this challenge and have a lot of fun. So if we have a look at our input data, we've got for each year the players that are chosen as All-Stars and when they were drafted. So a player may be chosen as an all-star in more than one year. So there might be kind of duplicate rows if we were just looking at the player and the draft status, which are our two main columns here. Um, so what we would kind of want to do is just aggregate that down, uh, shrink this data set down from 400 odd records to just be keeping our key information about the player and the NBA draft status so that we only get 123 records. Then we're going to want to split this um, column up into the more useful bits. So I've used a little bit of regex, definitely not the most efficient um, string that I've ever written in my life, but it does the job. So we use um, four digits at the start here in our first capture group, um, and that's the year. We change it to a number, and then we've kind of got the round here that signifies um, what round number it is and the pick to signify what pick number it is. So it does the job. It's not the most efficient, but there we go. So um, you'll notice from here that where we get undrafted, then we have nulls. So we kind of want to just filter these out because um, it says so in the instructions. So that's what we do. And then we go down to 121 rows. So for each of these um, years where they were picked, there can be different rounds. So we need to know information about how many teams were in um, each round or how many players. I'm not entirely sure of the terminology there. Um, so for example, where we've got this Anthony Mason, he is picked in the third round. So how many were there in rounds one and two? Um, so that we can get the overall pick basically. So uh, to do that, we've got our draft information down here. Uh, immediately we can kind of see this data structure isn't the most efficient because we've got a lot of nulls. So let's go about transposing it initially, that's always my go-to. Now we can see that this value column is 72% null. So okay, we'll filter those out, they're not useful to us. And now we've got all nice green bars at the top here, which is always nice to see. So we want to also do a little bit more cleanup to this name column, for example, because it's got RD in the round, we kind of want this to be treated as a number instead. Um, many ways to do that. I chose to do a bit of regex just to get the digits out of this name field and rename it to round that year. So then we're going to join together on the year and we only need to keep information about the player, the NBA draft status, the round pick um, that we got out of this regex tool here. And then we're just going to keep from this right input um, the number in that round and the round that year that we just um, got from here. So basically just these two columns here, renaming value to um, number in round. So now when we look at our join output, we can see that for each player, we've got all the rounds of that year, which isn't actually that useful. So for example, Michael Jordan here, he was picked in the first round, but we've got information about all of the rounds all the other nine rounds that year. So we need to filter down our data set a little bit. We basically just want our round to be greater than or equal to the round that year. So that means for Michael Jordan, he only has one row, which is good because he was picked in the first round. But then Anthony Mason, for example, um, he was picked in round three. So we do need information about rounds one and two. So that's good that we've got all those rounds. Now we do a little formula tool. So we're saying that if the round is equal to the round in that year, then we want you to replace the number in round with the pick. So basically, it, we don't care about anyone past uh, the number that they were picked in that round. Um, so that if you, for example, look here, um, Michael Jordan was picked in the first round, that matches. So we get, rather than having this 24 here, we have a three, which is great. Um, and then if we come down to Anthony Mason, for example, like we've got the information about rounds one and two, but then round three, we only care about up to third place because that's where he was picked. So now we can just sum down or summarize, aggregate this um, 
data set to get back to one player per row so that we can find out the overall pick number. So we've grouped by the player and the NBA draft status and we've um, summed the number in round so we get the overall pick. And then all that's left to do is sort that in a descending order and filter out using the sample tool our top three. And there you have it, that matches the output nicely and I hope that was useful. Thanks.